Ho ho, me hearties. A very, very good morning to you. The time is 8.59, just coming up to 9 o'clock on Sunday morning, Sunday the 10th of April 2022. How lovely to have you all with us. I'm Scotty McClue, the World Stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Flutai, all in uppercase, and a very, very warm welcome to our live this morning. Do come and join us. So good to have you with us. Uh, Ruben is first this morning. Excellent, Ruben. Well done for getting on first. It's always a great place to be. Morning, Scotty. How are you doing? Sophia, lovely to have you with us. And thank you do. Welcome to our Sunday morning live. Good morning, Captain from Duisburg in Germany. Ah, Nil. Nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. Good morning, Scotty. Thank you, Robert Rovers. Good morning. How lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic stuff. We love you in Germany there. Tremendous, Neil. That's great. I love the internationalism of these lives. And last night, the phone in was just outstanding. You'll get it on the YouTube channel. Get subscribing. Happy birthday, buddy. Dinky dooky milk. Uh, evening, Lord Duke of Dundee, Onion Badgie. How lovely to have you with us and Dinky Do. So a very, very happy birthday to Kimalgi. Kimalgi's birthday this morning. Happy birthday, Kimalgi. Fantastic stuff. Hi from Tom and Theo in Australia. Thomas, how lovely to have you with us from down under. Which part of the beautiful continent are you actually from? Because we quite often hashtag Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. There we are. Thank you. Kareem, good morning. Thank you for all my gorgeous TikTok gifts, tennis balls, speakers, roses, TikToks, GGs. Well done, Scotty. You're at fun this morning. Dinky do. Oh, absolutely, Neil. We're getting there, you know. I mean, I'm very, very excited about the new YouTube channel. You'll see we've had a name change this week. And uh, it is big stuff. So they were fantastic. That's what it's all about, I say. And uh, in fact, I'm just doing a bit of editing here. Um, Dinky Doo, Scotty, what's your position on the remarkable Boris trip to the Ukraine and his walkabout? Well, there's obviously a bit of solidarity there in the walkabout, but it's very, very interesting. Um, I, would, I would like to see Boris getting head to head with Mr. Putin and saying, what is the score here, Vladimir? Ah, Darwin, mate. All right, mate. Fantastic. I haven't got my uh, jackaroo hat on, or I'd put it on for you. Uh, Scotty McClure, do you want to feel more popular? So there we are. Well, we'll see what's what. Um, but uh, we'll not do the adverts for you, if that's okay with you. Fantastic. That's what it's all about, I say. Uh, Darwin. Yes, Darwin in Australia. Good morning, VJ. Good morning, VJ. I love to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. This is just amazing. And welcome to the YouTube channel. Welcome on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Tremendous stuff. So we're just doing a little bit of editing here as we speak. What about that? Have you ever seen that before? Fantastic. That's what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to do some live editing as we speak. So it's on here. So I'm a little bit sideways just to set this up. But this is so exciting. Multitasking. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, I say. There we are. Fantastic. Right. Voice of the world. That's what it's about, the voice of the world. And it's a radio, although we're in vision, radio talk show. Is that not beautiful? So there we are. Fantastic. That's what it's about. Scott McLean, Voice of the World, radio talk show. Tremendous stuff. And uh, we'll get this sorted out for you as well. Um, I'm just doing this editing, then I'll be back to our messages. And you'll see a difference right in front of your eyes. Voice mm, of the world. There you are. Isn't that great? Oh, I do like this. Uh, that's fantastic. And the phone in, of course, usually 9 p.m. Saturdays. 
and that's that there so you'll get that guys that will come up to you and you can just enjoy yourself so you'll see i've done a little bit of editing just at the start there there you are and you can enjoy that oh this is good oh this is good this is quality now uh talk show yes that's that um hmm. there we are and i'm just looking down uh what should we have this here news and media lovely lovely there you go fantastic right that's you up to date guys so you should be able to see that along the top uh fantastic that's us totally up to date there we are um good morning vj good morning should i say pal sorry i know you don't see meat over there we tend we do say meat that's the difficult thing and i don't like it as a term because it's over familiar when you don't know somebody are you a Radio 1 DJ? Uh, I haven't been on Radio 1. So they are, but I did a lot of DJing. Good morning, Sarge from Glasgow. Good morning, Connor. Hi, says Daniel. Thank you, do. Scotty. Hey, sweetie. Hey, we Mrs. Woman. How lovely to have you with us. Good morning, Scotty. You're looking as handsome as ever. Susie, baby, you are just so kind to me. It's lovely of you. Thank you, do. I say to you. Dinky do la la, dinky do beachy beachy. Scotty, yo, what's up? What's up? Everything's up, nothing's down. More likes, more likes, please, guys. Have you all liked? So fantastic. Now, uh, what do we got here? Uh, we're real mad. So we're real mad. What we'll do, you're on the wrong live for you. So we'll just send you down the Swanee with a lifetime ban. You've completely miscalculated what's going on here. And remember, you forgot the golden rule. You never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClure. It's just not done. So we'll have to say goodbye to you. That's the end of him. How are you doing, Haldi? How are you getting on, La? Well done, Scotty. Keep me up with the new technology. A blast from the past. Well, as you know, Scotty McClure has always been way ahead of his time way ahead of his time and um, i've worked equipment worth millions of pounds and uh, i think this is lovely this and um, you know i wouldn't like to be so bold as to say it's simple because i just have to find my own way with it but hopefully it's working guys morning scotty have a brilliant day aiden good morning you too sir are you playing this morning aiden do you still take the band to things like church services and Remembrance Sunday. Hello from Helensburn, Scotland. Coxie, how lovely to have you with us. And thank you to Floatai. We Mrs. Woman. Hashtag Floatai, all uppercase. I say to you, how wonderful is, is that? There we are doing the swanee with them. Absolutely, we Mrs. Woman. He assumes people have his lifestyle. Scott had an amazing light last night at my local ice hockey team. We're one game away from the league. I'll tell you, have you ever heard of an ice hockey team called the Winnipeg Jets? They're amazing. Uh, do you think you might add a green screen? Well, Russell, we might give you a different background. Yes, a good idea uh, to your studio. All that's possible. It's just I have to get my head around it. You've got to remember I'm not the springiest of spring chickens. But uh, we are getting there. I am at heart. Good job. Hello from Prestwick. Bailey, lovely to have you with us from Prestwick. Tell me this, Bailey. Does the runway still go across the main road at Prestwick? Or is that old hat? When I was a wee boy, there were big gates you could shut. And the road got shut and a plane could take off. <laughs> How amazing is that? Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Are they in the UK? No, Winnipeg Jets, Stevie. In Winnipeg, in Canada. Fantastic. So lovely to have you with us. There's Rod. Good morning, First Lord of the Internet. I will catch up with your global broadcast as soon as I come off here. Now, Rod is a fantastic broadcaster. Yes, and a, a big media boss. So there we are. Fantastic and a delightful person. I had the, one of the nicest chats I've ever had with a media boss with Rod. 
who is known as the Big Man. And he broadcasts right across Liverpool and the Northwest on this fantastic radio station called Liverpool Live. So I suggest you get a look at that. Rod, it's time you and I had another chat, I think. Uh, good morning, Scotty and Dinky Doo. Aaron, lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. So good to have Aaron with us. Uh, calling someone mate can be for anyone, but a friend is different. Yeah, but sometimes it's slightly passive aggressive in Scotland when people say, I'll tell you this, my friend. You need to sort yourself out, my friend. It, you know, that sort of thing. I don't like that. You want to watch what you're saying to me, pal? You know, I'm telling you, matey. It, it's, it's that, there's a passive aggressive side to these terms of, uh, you know, perceived endearment. Uh, fantastic stuff. The T-shirt I'm wearing just now says Chicago on it. And Mitch is wearing a New England Patriot shirt. Now, guys, I know you can't listen to two. Well, you can listen to two outputs at the one time. See if you can find Liverpool Live and get tuned into that because the big man is on and he is good. Uh, now, that's what it's about in Australia. I mean, uh, Thomas, I know what you mean. Do you not still use cobber? Fair dinkum cobber. Uh, Scotty, I'm currently in hospital at the moment in Crosshouse, but always try to get on your show. Brian, I send you strength, you dear, dear man. You've been around for some time with McClure. You and I go back a long way, and we want you strong and well. So we're sending world vibes to Crosshouse Hospital. Do not come, Marnock. There we are, fantastic stuff. Uh, so we send you strength, Brian, and you get strong and well. And we send you love. There we are. There's nothing namsy pamsy about sending love, I can tell you. Good to know, says Thomas. Yep. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? I don't know if you have that, Thomas B., that kind of passive aggressive down under in Australia. Uh, what have we got here? So much of you going on here. Uh, Scotty. What's your actual opinion on the House of Lords where you pay to get in? Uh, when you say you pay to get in, do you mean when it's closed and you want to pay in to get a look round as a tourist? That sort of idea. I mean, my honest opinion on the House of Lords uh, is that it's worth its weight in gold because it keeps a check on the commons. And I don't think it's the case now uh, because you've got the Supreme Court, but the House of Lords used to be the highest court in the land. So you could take something up to the House of Lords. Because you see, England, England's legal system is different to Scotland's legal system. And Scotland has the oldest courts, going back to the Court of Session in the 1500s. It might be 1531 or something, can't remember. The inner house and the outer house of the Court of Session and the Law Lords. So Scotland leads the way in law as it leads the way in education, as it leads the way in invention, as it leads the way in most things, really, administration. The Scots ran the empire for the English, you know, that sort of idea. Is it okay to call a Scot jock? Mr. Martin, I would say... It's a bit old-fashioned. It's a bit like calling a Welsh person taffy, you see? That sort of idea. Or limey for an English person, uh, you know? Or um, what's 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 the Irish one? What would probably ha have one for Ireland as well. But I think that um, if it's a regimental term, the Scottish regiments don't mind being called the jocks. Because when the jocks were in there, when the Argyles are coming, everybody thinks, oh. They had an argument with someone asking where they can find uh, pure blood Brits. So sad this happens. Well, there's no such thing as a pure blood anything. There was a guy once going on about being 100% English. So they got him to do a wee spittle in a cup and took it off to the lab to start to examine the DNA. And I think he was 60% Argentinian. Uh, you know, very interesting. Can we call Matey Boy Mate? 
Oh, meaty boys, meaty boy. And Sonny is another one in Scotland. I'll tell you this, Sonny boy. Uh, yes, indeed. So, you know, I mean, it's not offensive to call a Scot jock. There we are. Paddy. Yes, that's right. That was the Irish one. Sorry. So you've got Paddy in Ireland, Taffy in Wales, Jock for uh, Scotland, and Limey. Limey for an Englishman. All right, me Limey. You know, but I don't really think that's the way ahead, to be honest, because, well, I'm certainly not on Scotty McClue's live, because we're all the same on here. You see, there's only one race, the human race. Fantastic. That's it, Mr. Martin. Where are you from, says Freak? Freak, I am from the universe. I'm a child of the universe, and uh, I'm uh, in the west of Scotland. There's, I am still one of the most generous people in the world. I am still has just sent me a gorgeous red rose. Yes, you're a Carolina man, I am still. Am I right? Am I got that right? I know I keep asking. Um, we miss this woman. Uh, AFC is saying he's gone off to Florida. There were my family are from Columbus, Ohio, but my grandfather lived on a sailboat in Tampa. We Mrs. Woman, we love this. Hello, Miss Scotty, how are you doing? Hello, Nightmare, how are you doing? And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. This is so good to have you with us. Uh, fantastic. Now, what else have we got here? Oh, I'd love to live in a sailboat. Stevie and we, Mrs. Women, are getting right into the chat here. I often call someone Mrs. and then their surname or Mr. and surname unless they've introduced themselves. Well, we, Mrs. Women, that, of course, is exactly the right way to go ahead. And if we don't know them, I call them Sir or Madam. Yes, sir. Can I help you, sir? Can I help you, madam? But was there something you wanted, madam? Yeah, you know, that sort of thing. And you used to have miss was very important for an unmarried lady. And being unmarried as a young lady in Scotland was a bit of a boost because um, they threw out your work if you'd been married. Uh, so you had single girls, yes, yeah, single girls working in the thread mills in Paisley. The mill girls were single girls by and large. And that's where you get the term spinster. So the spinsters were unmarried. Oh, do not tell me you don't get knowledge from Scotty McClue, because I wouldn't believe you. It's as simple as that. Now then, um, strange dinky do. Thank you for all your incredible things. Scotland is a beautiful country. Freak, I think it certainly is. Although last night on the phone in, we had a call from Jonathan, which I'll pop up later for you to hear on the YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube, please do. If you haven't followed me on the TikTok, get following Big Style. All right, there we are. Now, who have we got here? Scotty, what's your favorite sport? Who's the team you support in that sport? There we are. Well, my favorite sport uh, used to be rugby and rowing. You know, I put it on my CV and somebody thought it was rowing. But um, no, rowing was another thing that I did. And sailing, you see, that's the thing. Uh, Dennis from Barton Hill. Uh, there we are. Dinky do. A wee poem there. Good morning, Scotty. It looks like another lovely day in Scotland, Chris. It's outstanding, the weather at the moment. Although, having said that, all the seasons in one day, did you experience thunder, lightning, and hailstones? It made me want to sing a line from George Frederick Handel's oratorio, Israel in Egypt. He gave them hailstones for rain. There we are. Uh, wonderful stuff. Now then. Thanks for your wisdom, Scotty. Brian, not at all. We like to keep everybody up here on here because, uh, you know, education in the next few years, the politicians will want to dumb everybody down uh, because they're easier to control if they're as thick as two short planks. So I would uh, suggest to every single person on the planet, get yourself a top-class education. Get learning. 
What you don't know, you can find out. What you're struggling to find out, you'll get from Scotty McClue. Not a problem, dinky do. I am still, you've just become a top viewer. Uh, yes, they called us Paddy's Richard. Shocking thing to go on. But you see, having said that, Richard, what goes around comes around. And being Irish these days is very, very sought after. You know, it's wonderful. Well, we know that from talking to your dear self. There we are. Uh, I am still the top viewer. Uh, smelly sock. I hate that impression of sweaty sock. Well, you're a con. I just will not countenance it. So if somebody comes on here and says sweaty sock, I advise them on foot hygiene. Uh, how to get better? I say you may have athletes' foot. Uh, there we are. I've just sent you a quick message on your phone. Rod, are you not just a top man? Fantastic stuff. Uh, now, uh, who have we got here? And you'll always be a top man, Rod. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, talking to you is a privilege, and I remember you well from, uh, from the days gone by. There we are. And I would advise everybody to get tuned in right now to Liverpool Live. Uh, we miss this woman. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to have a boat for years, as it would probably rust. Boats are very interesting. I've been reading up on wooden boats because I love the saying, if God had meant us to have fiberglass boats, he would have given us fiberglass trees. <laughs> we love that. So I'm a wooden boat man. I was brought up on wooden boats. 65 foot MFV, uh, you know, marine fishery vessel. Built in 1944 for the Admiralty. Gorgeous, gorgeous shape of a boat. And also a 52-foot harbour launch. Yes, indeed. With a four-cylinder Kelvin engine. Why you're here? Well, I see you're talking to Freak. Sorry. Uh, yes. Um, so there we are. Now, you could have somebody polishing and washing down teak every day. And you would end up with, um, you could end up with rot. Now, teak shouldn't rot at all, but you can end up with rot, believe it or not. Or you can rescue an old hulk that's been buried in the mud of the Thames for 100 years. There's not a bit of rot in it. Who can tell me why this is? I'm very keen to find out. Uh, there we are. What about the clippies? They were all single. The clippies on the buses. Is that right, Chris? Fantastic. Scotty McClure, I hope you're well. Excellent show last night. I bought a garden bench, so I'll need to make that today, Kareem. Fantastic. Now, watch you're not left with a couple of bolts left over. I bought a garden bench. It wasn't that dear. I had to leave it somewhere. Uh, so there you go. Uh, what's happened to Alan Bezik? Nothing, I don't think. Alan is one of our top broadcasters. Uh, there we are. Scotty McClure, hope you're well. Excellent show last night. I have bought it. Oh, yes, the garden bench. That's right. Sorry. I'm reading that twice. Uh, Martin and all the beautiful people. Scotty, hope you're well. Kareem is a real top man. He's a great caller as well. Last night's internet phone in was outstanding and we've just started a couple of days ago with a new title scotty mcclure voice of the world radio talk show because my concern was the youtube channel had been sitting for a while and wasn't growing now if you're putting on quality talk and we are you know let's not kid ourselves it should be growing by the second everybody should be subscribing and I realized the title was too obscure. Scotty McClue, The Internet Phone-In. It's a wonderful title, but not one that people would immediately think upon looking up on YouTube. Whereas I think they might look up Scotty McClue, voice of the world radio talk show. So do tell me, if you're a YouTuber, are you on the channel? Have you subscribed? Can we get on with growing this? Scotty, there we are. Thank you, big O's. Lovely to have with you. I'm calling. I will open the phone lines, guys. 
There we are, fantastic. We'll take a couple of calls. I can't believe we're halfway through the show. Rachel says, last night's phone in was very good. Richard, it's so interesting. You have television and radio stations right out in the public domain. And they've stopped asking for people to phone them because nobody's calling. Scotty McClue pops up on the internet and the phones jam. Now, what's going on there? Do you see what I mean? Uh, where's the post office? Oh, I, Brian's looking for the post office. Yes. Do you ever call the job center the brew all the time, Brian? Two chaps on the brew. <laughs> yes, all the time is the brew. I'll let you pop up to the brew and uh, ask them if they know what's happening with this pension. What are you talking about, Scotty? We're talking about everything, Big O's. You know, this is the world's top talk show, Big O's. Uh, but you're spamming me here, and I don't want to ban you. So if you're staying with us, you know, just a nice question. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to the world. So there we are. Uh, now, what have we got here? I've learned something new. Oh, official, you'll always learn something new because I learn something new. I am learning, learning, learning all the time. A life is not long enough for all the learning we do. I've been married for nearly five years. I would be doing the swanee. You'd be doing the swanee as a spinster. Yes, I have to say. No, they used to sack them. I sent you an update on our mutual friend. It uh, says, Aidan, thank you, Aidan. Fantastic. I hope you read it. Of course, I'll read it. Did you ever meet Danny Kyle? I didn't meet Danny, but I've heard him perform. Excellent folk singer. There we are. Yes, I remember the days when you were serving someone and you had to stay behind the counter. That was it, Richard. Yes. Is there anything I can get you, sir? Good morning. Yes, that's an idea. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on TikTok Live. We're live on YouTube Live. We're live on Facebook Live. We're live on Twitch Live. Now, this is new. Can I ask that maybe two or three of you go over to Twitch? Because this will help me affiliate. Yes, Scotty underscore McClue, right? And just watch for a few minutes. There we are. Fantastic. Right. So, Big O's, uh, are you ready to stop spamming? And we can get the chat going. I don't want to ban you. Scotty, are you having a Scottish cooked breakfast with square sausage? Yes, I am. But don't tell the missus. <laughs> I'm having a roll of sausage, fried onion, a tomato sauce. We miss his woman. I'll be around in a minute. Morning, Scotty. Dinky do. Keep the pan going. Uh, morning, Gorbals boy. Weymouth. The Weymouth sea bass has joined us. How lovely is this? Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you come on. I've arrived from TikTok, the Daily Rob. That is fantastic. And uh, can you get on? to the uh, Dinky Do, hi, oh, so it's D-I-N-K-Y hyphen d -O, o But you'll get there. We'll get you into this. As I say, I'm not going to ban you for spamming. Have you ever had breakfast in Antalya? Uh, Anatolia, is that the one? I just became a top viewer. Uh, Richard, thank you. I find it irritating when people say like or you know after every sentence. Well, we, Mrs. Woman, this is called Newspeak. You know, do you know what's happening like? And, uh, you know, yeah, so that's what it's like. You know, Thanos is what we usually say in Lancashire and Yorkshire. Thanos. Uh, you know, that's irritating. Yes, indeed. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, now, Mike said dinky do Good. Say hi to Mike. Uh, you know, and ask him if he wants his roll and sausage, or could you give it to Scotty? And uh, that's what I think. There's Richard sending me TikToks. Richard, you're very, very kind, and it's very much appreciated because you'll not believe it, but these TikToks all add up. Guys, can you believe I've been on for 30 minutes in 10 seconds, right? And I've got 4,800 likes. Now, that's kindness in itself. Heavens knows how many TikToks. They are half an hour we've been on. 
Uh, I agree with you. Now, Hyos, uh, you just better go. Guys, I'm just going to block Hyos because he's obviously a half-witted idiot and he's on the wrong stream and he hasn't the intelligence to hold a conversation. So no point in him being on, really, is there? There we are. That's him gone. Bye-bye, Hyos. That's him. Daily Rob Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. You've got YouTube and Twitch open at the same time. Yes, I've got YouTube, Twitch, Facebook Live, LinkedIn, and TikTok open at the same time. How's about that for starters? There we are. So if you can get to the YouTube channel and subscribe, Scotty McClue, Voice of the World Radio Talk Show, get subscribing there, guys. Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Get yourselves on there as well. Uh, there we are, still in London, about to go later and catch a train to Wales. Gorbos, boy, what are you going to Wales? Are you going down to chapel to sing in the valleys? Uh, so there we are. When did you live in the Gorbals? Uh, we Mrs. Woman's asking Gorbals, boy. Hope all's well in your life. Sending sincere greetings from England. Jeff, we love you in England. What part of God's country are you in? Applause. Ah, dearly, Rob, did you like that? Were you getting annoyed at that idiot? Yes, half wit. We give him a chance, I have to say. Can't even remember his name now. That's how important he was to the stream. I couldn't keep up with all that. No, you see, spammers that keep going, hey, are you watching, are you watching, are you watching? Just away, away. I can like Chris. That's it, Ken. Ken. You know, I like Ken after things. And because both of you say Ken. So one says, anyway, he's up the road by about 10 o'clock. Ken, Ken. And uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, Big O's has gone, Missy, Mikey, Missy, Micey. There's no point in talking to Big O's. He's gone. <laughs> he's a goner. He's doing the swanny. You'll never hear of him again. 2,400 likes, Susie Babe. What do you like? I'm just about to hit 5,000 likes. Scotty, how are you doing? Jock, lovely to have you with us. Where are you from? I'm from the universe, Robert. No, from Scotland. Uh, there we are, Scotland. Some people just don't learn, says the Daily Rob. You can warn them loads of times, but they don't learn. I agree. I mean, Big Oss, that's what he's calling himself, you know, was a big dafty, big halfwit. You tell them and tell them, I've warned the trolls not to troll. And what do they do? They troll. That's how stupid these people are. And I don't like calling people stupid because I have a belief that most folk have intelligence. It just needs a lot of bringing out. I remember talking to a very, very senior singing coach, a head of singing at one of the big music schools. And he said to me, you have a great voice there, son it will need a lot of bringing out. Isn't that amazing? Uh, there we have. So that's it, The Daily Rob. That's what you're up against uh, in the media. But I suppose there's a, a silver lining to every cloud. And the silver lining is that when you get the half weights on, you know you're going out right across the world. There we are. The West of Scotland says we, Mrs. Women, the voice of the world radio talk show, miss it then miss life. Kareem, you're 100%. If you miss a moment of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. Why would you do that to yourself? I love your accent, says Robert. Well, Robert, bless you. I don't really think it's an accent. It's just the way I speak. We miss his woman, 1970 to 74. We in Hutchie E. Gorbals, boy. Then moved, but my granny stayed in uh, old Rutherglen Road. And Auntie, there we are. Isn't that amazing? Uh, fantastic. There's Brian. Uh, oh, you're getting a good chat. I'll go and help. Absolutely, Robert. Um, what have we got here? The University of Life. Yes, come on round, Scotty. Square sausage on for you. We miss his woman. Uh, me go cool, you go drool. Susan Gillis. How amazing is that? So there we are. Me go cool, you go drool. I have knew my family for, oh yes, 
Uh, they're having a great chat. I'm just going down here. Um, sharing is caring. Yes. Scotty, what's your opinion on hunting? Well, I am a crack shot. Depends what kind of hunting you mean. You're talking about chasing a wee fox on a horse. Nah. Not at all into that. And I think that what people should do if you want to hunt and you're absolutely loaded and falling down with dosh, then what you should do is maybe get somebody to go out earlier, a bit like um, here, the hair coursing has turned into, um, you know, different things. Somebody runs out with a bag of aniseed and uh, trails it, trail hounding, not hair coursing. Hair coursing is illegal as well now, thank Badger baiting illegal. Uh, lamping is illegal, I think. Uh, for the rabbits. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, all these old things. Um, otter hunting. Hunting otters with the otter hounds. All these things are cruel sports. And the animal doesn't really stand a chance. So what I think we should do. As I say, if you want to ride on horseback and hack around the fields. Get somebody like myself to run around in the morning with a bag of aniseed. And then the, the the hounds can go after the aniseed and the hunters can gallop after them. And then you um, you can uh, kill the bag of aniseed. When you meet it, you can beat it with a stick and all that and pretend it was uh, a poor wee fox who deserves to live. Uh, so there we are. The unspeakable in search of the uneatable, as the great Oscar Wilde would have said. Uh, there we are. What have we got here? I have a Twitch account, but I never use it. Well, Richard, I've just started using mine. I've got 95 followers. I would like somebody to go on it and just watch it for a minute. Scotty underscore McClue. That would be tremendous. Scotty, you doing anything nice to celebrate Easter? Always the Daily Rob. I love Easter. I can remember in front of a gathering of people, I suggested New Year should be at Easter. 6,100 likes, guys. I suggest a new year should be at Easter. And I got laughed off the park with all these kind of ignorant hollow laughers. You know, that kind of, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, ha, are you hearing this? This guy thinks new year should be at Easter. Then I did a little bit of research and found out that it was. So the new year, the new life, Esther, is just the egg, Esther, you know, and that is Easter. And, of course, various religions hijacked it. Uh, the Christians hijacked the old Esther festival. The new life, the egg. Isn't that beautiful? And McClue was 100% right. Even in those days, this would be something like 1972. So how long was that? 50 years exactly. 50 years ago, I made that pronouncement and everybody laughed in the same way that they laughed at Christopher Columbus and laughed at Thomas Edison. And no doubt laughed at poor old Marconi as well. But if it wasn't for Marconi, we wouldn't be here. There we go. Oh, really? Yeah, really fantastic. That is beautiful. I love Easter. So there you are. You see, you get your information and your entertainment from McClure. Uh, George Orwell. Yes, George Orwell. Was George Orwell? No, no, I think, was it not? Oscar Wilde, the unspeakable in search of the uneatable. Because I did ask an old countryman, what's Twitch, Scotty? Twitch is a gaming and broadcasting platform. There we are, a streaming platform. Fantastic. Twitch TV. Scotty, say hi to Gordon. And to Jimmy, I will, Cameron. No problem at all. A pleasure, I say to you. Toast, there, toast. Molly Scotty, hope you're well, sir. Donkey, how lovely to have you with us. Scottish water, aha, you've reminded me. Time for a sip. Can we all have a general sip of water, guys? Ooh, that's lush. Hang on a minute. I forgot to open the phone lines. I love the foxes. I feed them at night in my back garden. Well, look up YouTube, Scotty McClue, a wee visitor. 
to McClue Towers YouTube. Look it up. She's out visiting family, uh, says Gorbel's boy. I used to listen to you in Leith, Edinburgh. Uh, I forgot the radio show. Dalek, absolutely. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Uh, just became a top viewer. Craig, thank you for that. Always good to stay refreshed. What's your area code? Says Micey. Micey, we don't do area code here as such, unless it was an address. Uh, so lots of things on here. Do you think Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon? I think the first words when they saw the moon was, no way could a cow jump over that. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, how are we getting on? Hi, Scotty. Are you on television? Not at the moment, Count Dracula. But obviously, I used to work for ITV and read the news. Uh, feed my double eagle, says Jack. So there you are. Fantastic, Jack. So there you are. So you're a man who does birds of prey. There we are. That's what we like, Jack. Fantastic. Uh, only three viewers on Twitch, but then Scotty YouTube is more popular. Richard, of course, but three is brilliant. That's all I need. So thank you for that. So guys, thank you, Richard. That is so much appreciated. That's all I need now for my affiliation. Are you opening the phones? I'll open the phones, Martin. Monkey was the first one in the moon. However, it died because it was a test to see if people be able to breathe in space. They should have given that wee monkey some oxygen. We owe the monkeys a massive debt and a massive apology. They're beautiful. I made the moon. You're tuned to the moon. Could you say good morning, Marina, in a Scottish accent? Good morning, Marina. Lovely to have you with us. The astronauts left two battery-operated cameras on the moon. Tragic. Ah, Eden, amazing. Uh, Scotty, how are you lately, my friend? Lads forever. We are brilliant. Uh, there we go. Yes, it didn't have a suit. It should have had a wee suit for the monkey. A wee monkey suit. Do you still get monkey suits? When I first broadcast in Liverpool, we used to have the shell suits and the perms. Fantastic. Scotty McClue. Yeah. How are you? Lads forever. Thank you for my beautiful red rose. That was very kind of you guys. You're so generous on the TikTok. Thank you, thank you. There we are. Let's open the phones and have a wee chat. There we are. Phone lines are open right now. If anybody fancies phoning in, you should have the number across the bottom of your screen. Don't send the monkeys to Hartlepool. No gobbles, boy, because they might hang them. Scotty, have you hit the GoFundMe? Uh, yes, not yet. We're halfway there. So it's GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. And we were looking to raise two and a half K and we're at 1300. So there we are. You get monkey boots. Scotty, give me a shout out, please. Craigies, I'll give you a shout out. Lala, not a problem. I say to you. Fantastic. If anybody wants to give us a quick call, you can do. I'll just make sure we're all turned up. They are fantastic. Right, that's that. The lines are open. Oh, here we go. Hello, you're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Good morning, Lala. Martin. Good, ah, Martin Lala. Good morning to you, Lala. How are you? How is, how, um, how are you this morning? This morning, we are outstanding because last night's phone in was amazing. Yes. And we've updated the titles, Martin, now. Voice uh, of the World Radio Talk Show. Yes. That's it. And I think that will be easier for people to find on the YouTube. Correct. Get them subscribing. Fantastic. How are you this morning, more importantly? I'm um, just in my bed now, so. <laughs> you're just what? I am just in my bed. <laughs> oh, you're in your bed. Good, Martin. No, because you need a bit of rest. No, 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 no. I am, I am, I am just up. That is what I meant to say. I'm just up. That's oh, you're just saying. up? Oh, I thought you were still in bed. Yes, I was going to say, you need a wee kip, you know? Yeah, no, no. I know, I know. I've um, had a, um, I've had enough kip today. <laughs> ah, yes, you've had yeah. enough kip. You need to get out and get some fresh air. Yes, yeah, so how's the, so how's the weather today, night? Weather's absolutely stunning. I'm just looking out the window. Blue sky. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. You know, my dad used to say when he came in to get me up when I was a tiny wee one, he used to say, um, there's enough blue sky to make a pair of cat's pajamas. Wow. That was his chat to the wee one when I was tiny. He was a great guy, you know, he always telling me stories. Speaking of, um, speaking of, um, Scotty, I even, I even got a monkey one day. Um, I've had, um, I've had it for, for a long, long while. It's a monkey one day I've got. It's one of like one of those um, ones you have really, really good. It's quite funny. Martin, uh, one of the things I love about you is you're a great funster. What is, what is that? A funster, somebody that loves a bit of fun. Yes, <coughs> yes. You know, and the monkey wants that. I mean, that will be a hoot. Yes, I do. I do like fun, um, but is it appropriate or fancy? Oh, no, or no. That? Listen, there's nothing inappropriate about having a monkey wants that. No, 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 it's not. It's not. It's quite, it's quite, because everyone wears ones because it's you, you only wear them when, when it's in the winter. Yes. I don't wear them in the summer as much because it's going to get... It should be boiling hot as time goes on. Oh, you get a bit hot in the monkey suit. Yes, yeah, so no doubt about yeah, that. Um, <laughs> it's going to be very, very hot um, in Easter. Um, I've just found that as well. It's supposed to be really hot as well. They're asking if you're in a tunnel. You're sounding very echoey. Sorry, I am in the boombox again. That's why. <laughs> ah, you're in the boombox. Martin, lovely to hear you, and we'll catch up soon. And dinky do. Thank you, Scott. Love you lots. Love you lots, Lala. Have a good day. Fantastic. That's our Martin. Uh, Martin's very good. He likes to give us a wee call, and it's always quality chat. There we are. A bit of fun. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marty, for sending too funny. He's still in his scratches, says Brian. No, he said he'd just got up. Have you had an Easter egg? <laughs> Dinky do plus nine, brother. Calvin. Thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. The shell suit and the perm at the back. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Good morning. It's Kareem here. Ah, Kareem. Good morning. How lovely to have you with us. What do you think oh, of the old morning random pop-up? I'll, I'll be honest. I actually just woke up. Good. The dog nudged me at nine o'clock. The dog said, I'm here, nice. come on. Yes. Scotty's on. Up. Scotty's on, I need to get this on. The dog said, I can hear Scotty, and he started saying, come on, Kareem, wake up and phone <laughs> Scotty. That's wonderful. So, I'm going to build a bench, as I said earlier on, I bought it. It wasn't expensive as well. Uh -huh. um, and at the sides of the bench, it's like big wheels that are attached to it. So oh, wow. I it won't be too difficult to put together. The casters, so you can you can wheel it about. Well, no, it's like the traditional design. Uh, they can't feel it about, but it's just, it's got like the big wagon wheels for the side. So oh, I know what you mean. Yes, yes. So, so, so it's a bit as aesthetic. Yes. A wee yes. bit stylish. No, I bought a simple one that had two cast iron ends and then all uh, the planks in the middle. Right, okay. And, uh, right. and I left it at one of the houses. We were moving and the move had gone late into the night uh -huh. and uh, I thought, right, let's just leave it. Sometimes when you're very what? fatigued, you think, no, that'll do. So it got left at the house. So whoever bought the house inherited a nice garden bench. Bench, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sure it's still used to this day. <laughs> I'll bet you the officer, hey, look at this. You know, yeah. so, so that's it. No, that that would be wonderful, Kareem. As I say, just make sure you've not got a couple of bolts left over. Yes, well, I'm going to actually use my drill for it because I've got a new drill, and I thought, well, this is the type of project you're going to need your drill. So yes. I'll, I'll do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And are you quite a practical man, Kareem? I tried to be. I never used to be, but since now, when you've got your own house, uh -huh. and I think it's, you just need to learn these things to try and make, save a few shillings. As they say. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm afraid mine stopped. My father was a very practical man and would build okay. things from scratch, bookcases and everything. But I get wow. mine from the wonderful IKEA and uh, get the old spanners and put it together, and that's the limit of my expertise. Yes, I quite like that company in terms of their instructions are quite simple and straightforward to follow. Fantastic. Yes, absolutely fantastic. Uh, well, have a lovely, lovely day. Lovely to hear you're up. Have a lovely walk with the dogs. The weather's nice. 
excellent Scotty I'll tell you I was at Prestwick Beach and I phoned you last night ah. I was in the car coming back from the beach it was just such a beautiful walk very picturesque but thank you I hope you have a good day ah. and I'll see you and speak to you in tomorrow's uh, pop up I look forward to the a dinky do have a great day bye and bye. you lad dinky do thanks Kareem what a nice man there we are and a great call uh, the more you know Oh, it's actually a word you stream every day. The Daily Rob we have been doing recently. Um, it's getting time. Uh, I'm not in any way making out that I'm the busiest man in the world because I can't be bothered with people that do that. But I'm very maxed at the moment. And uh, it's a question of getting the time to live stream. Because obviously, you know, this is just me doing it for the folks. Who have we got here? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, good morning, Scotty. It's Richard. How are you? Richard, what a privilege to have you back with us. And thank you for your call last night. Hi, uh, Scotty. I was just going to say the first Lord of the Internet had a superb show last night. Oh, it was a fantastic show. I was buzzing after it. I thought, this is working. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Because you see, Richard, when you start off, there's a chance of making a complete fool of yourself because uh, maybe nobody would phone you. Maybe nobody will join you, but you've got to do it. And oh, then you sorry. look, you think heaven's above. They're all, they're all here and they're phoning. Scotty, you're too many years at this game for that to happen. You're known around the world. I, I know, but it's amazing, and, and it makes me smile because there are big radio and television stations that have cost millions of pounds to set up, and they do what they call a talk show. Now, I don't like to be a smarty pants, but what they call talk radio is not talk radio. It's just some, some old journalist guy shouting and bawling at an imaginary audience. Aye, Scotty, you see, it's down to snippets. It's not down to actual conversations with no. people anymore. And that's what and we've that's, lost. And that's the thing about Scotty McCrew, you have a conversation with him. Yes, and because that's the most important thing, because uh, what, what these stations are doing is patronizing people because they're forgetting that the real intelligence is all the human beings walking about. Exactly, Scotty. You know? Scotty, oh, oh, oh. I was just going to say this morning to people, you know, uh, every day you learn something new. So, you know, we're, we're all struggling at the minute with finances and stuff. But, but I was going to say to people, you know, even if you have a wee window box and you put baby carrots in it, or if you have old plastic bottles, two litre bottles of Coca-Cola and you cut, you know, a third of it off, you can then grow tomorrow's and that and hang it outside. Fantastic. My father, uh, we, he, you know, he had all his own fruit and vegetables. And that's why we grew up without the boils and the acne. Uh, uh, exactly, Scotty. You know, because, because my mother used to say to him, can you get us a cabbage? And he'd just go out and pull one out the ground and we'd have that for lunch. Uh, exactly, Scotty. You know, and, exactly. and that's and the tomatoes and the cucumbers, oh the smell. And he used to come home every hour. He had his own wee business and he used to come home every hour in the high summer to either open or shut the greenhouse window. <laughs> you know, and he'd built uh. he'd built the greenhouse himself. There was an old school uh, was dumping its flooring from about the seventeen hundreds and said, If you want any of that, just take it. So my father took it and built staging for sitting all the plants on. Oh, fantastic, Scotty. You know? But wait till I tell you this. This is what's funny. He built such a beautiful, solid piece of, of, of um, you know, oak staging or whatever it was. Heavy yeah. pine, pitch pine or yellow pine. And then um, it was too big to go in the door of the greenhouse. <laughs> so he, he had to cut it in half. <laughs> Scotty, I'm going to go dinky do. Listen, Richard, take great care of your dear self. Have a lovely day and dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty, and you. And thanks again. We'll maybe do Richard's tips. Fantastic. There we are. What a great guy. That's Richard phoning from 12 miles outside Belfast. Uh, we love it.
Now then, who have we got here? Hello, you live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello? 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 Hello, Scotty? Scotty, absolutely. Who's that? It's me. Me? Has me got a first name? Not great, how lovely to have you with us and Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo to you too, Scotty. Where are you phoning from, sir? India. Oh, wow, I love it. Yes. This Where is fantastic. From, Thank you. Love to India, to Mother India. Yes, to all the pencils in India. Not great, this is a real privilege for us. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. No, I, I can't believe how wonderful this is. Hands across the sea, hands round the world. Yes, sir. Where are you? Where are you? We are in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Oh, and very cool, Scott. Which part of the wonderful Mother India are you in? Oh, you're in Mumbai. You're in. You're in yeah. the big. You're in the big one. Yeah, the big one. I love it. The, the big, the big Mumbai. I would have loved to have gone on to All India Radio. Hello. You kind of look like my nutsack, Scotty. I look like your nan. Thank you very much. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? A call from India. We love it. Uh, First Lord of the Internet does it again. Richard, what about that? There's a call from Mother India. Oh, my goodness me. Guys, we're going to have to dash. Uh, I'm going to have to say bye to our beautiful, beautiful TikTokers. Thank you for joining us this morning. We're just about to hit 8,000 likes. Anybody up for that? Uh, anybody get tap, tap, tapity, tap, tapity, tapity, tap. tap. Uh, Scott, the guy from India, a bit of a dafty, as they say. We wee bit of a dafty, but it was quite interesting just to hear him. We've only got seconds. Uh, who have we got here? You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty. Yes. Hi, I'm calling from uh, Mexico. From Mexico, we love it from Mexico. I think, oh, we seem to have lost you there. Uh, thank you for the 7,000, 8,000 likes. We're going to have to dash TikTokers. I love you. Woo! That's it, folks. That's our beautiful TikTokers have had to go. Uh, now, a few messages here. Uh, the more you know, no moon landing, says Mr. Martin. Inspirational quote for the day. When someone tells you the sky is the limit, remember, there are footprints on the moon. Excellent stuff. We love it, Aaron. Guys, how can I thank you for the most fantastic live this morning? Funny, clever, interesting, and that's just you lot. <laughs> A good show. Thank you. Pavran, lovely to have you with us, and thank you, do. and uh, hopefully we'll be streaming later. Thank you again for a wonderful internet phone in. Get on to the YouTube channel and subscribe. Get everyone subscribing. Get sharing, guys. Then we'll build it up a lot quicker. Uh, you know, otherwise, I mean, a life is too short. Scott McLear, voice of the world radio talk show, saying a very good morning to you. It was a good show. I thank you, VJ. And dinky do to you. Stick out your tongues, guys, and say ta-ta. Bye-bye.